So back in 2016, I started a blog. It was before I became a coach and about a year before I lost my mom. I had never blogged and had no idea what I was doing, except that I knew I had something to say and needed somewhere to say it. I recently came across it again and with your permission, wanted to share just a little bit from something I wrote back then. It still really rings true for me today and I hope it might also resonate with you. So to give you context, when I wrote it, um, my husband and I had just left our baby at college that September and were essentially, quote, empty nesters. But the nest wasn't empty at all from our point of view because as she spread her wings and embarked on a new chapter of her life, we too, like excited college students, started another adventure together in New York City. And although we had spent most of our adult years living and working there, this was the first time since we were newlyweds, a couple of Canadian immigrants with no prospects, just a student visa and a 10 month lease. <laughs> so this time um, we stayed in a tiny sublet on the Upper West Side and that's where I wrote this passage five years ago. It's important to remember that the apartment number was 1F. So here we go. I wrote, I'm not sure if I noticed it right away or even how long it had been there. It's once shiny gold background and proud, bold black lettering peeled slightly away from the wood grain door, just above the peephole. I tried to imagine who had put it there and whether or not they recognized the irony of our new address, 1F, which to me clearly read, if. If the seemingly harmless little two letter word is quite possibly one of the most powerful in our vocabulary. I've seen it in action. I've seen it boosting the unwavering passion and determination of the young college students I teach downtown every day. If I just work harder, I will reach my goals. Perhaps even more often, I've heard the little word strenuously hold back so many of the adults I encounter who woefully reflect, if only. I have always tended toward the first usage of the word, Ever the eternal optimist, I smiled when I recognized the moniker on my apartment door. I read it as a kind of affirmation of the endless amount of possibilities open to us. If we open our minds and hearts and indeed our eyes to see them. Regret can't exist in the moment, only the chance to be. So how ironic that I'm sharing this with you today on my podcast, which just happens to be called Stop Time Live in the Moment. Regret can't exist in the moment, only the chance to be, I said. So I encourage you to discover the power of this tiny two-letter word and recognize it for the endless possibilities that it offers us. The ones that are available to us right now in this moment, as long as we choose to move forward unconditionally. Had someone told me five years ago that I'd be building my practice as a life coach and using my words to help elevate and celebrate others, I'd never have believed them. I only had three followers on my blog at that time, and two of them were my parents. There was but one comment, and it came from my mom a little over a year before she passed suddenly in 2017. I reread the comment today. It said, Finding your musings thought-provoking, interesting, and a fun read. Keep it up. And so, in that spirit, and with your grace, that is what I will continue to do. I'm Lisa Hopkins. Thanks for listening. Stay safe and healthy, everyone, and remember to live in the moment.